is Kenny Dillingham's method of building a team and rebuilding a program working? Because you can't really give any answers based off of last season. You can barely evaluate players from last season given the amount of injuries and the amount of moving variables that happened with this team. But presumably going into this year, you're going to get a lot more answers about the type of football talent being recruited, the type of coaching putting around them, and what that all looks like when it's blended together. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be the final verdict, but I think, Ralph, for me, the end of this season will be the first time that you can really take a look back and and truly get in the nitty-gritty and evaluate the way this program is being built back up. There are maybe two coaches in America at Arizona State's price point, what, what they're willing to compensate a coach for, that I believe could have done a better job as far as um, uh, ev- evaluating and, and grabbing super high rated talent that, that maybe didn't um, uh, show out where they were before. But I mean, we were just talking about Kamari Wilson. Do you really have the opportunity as the highest rated recruit in Florida's entire 2022 class to go out and be a superstar immediately? No, this stuff comes with development over time. And so Kenny Dillingham is getting people that have a year or two of lifting weights and practicing at a high level uh, under their belt. He's putting him in an opportunity to see, you know, can, but can you actually do it on the football field? Um, th- those coaches, uh, th- I mean, Dion is one of them as far as just collecting talent that Arizona state feasibly could have had at that price point. Um, and, you know, had, had things gone down maybe a little bit earlier, uh, maybe a guy like Billy Napier, you know, who, mm-hmm. who had a history here. Um, but no, I, it, you know, and obviously, you know, Billy Napier's on his last legs at, at, at Florida right now. And, you know, after he had gotten to Florida, wouldn't have been an Arizona state's price point. But I, I look at just on paper, what Kenny Dillingham has done. I look at his players reactions to him. And so much of this depends on quarterback play that it's ridiculous. But uh, you know, I, I look at the, the, the um, level of talent that he's been able to get to Arizona state and the enthusiasm they've had about playing for him and how that's uh, happened, not over two seasons. Cause it's really been a year and a half. Right. And, uh, I I just you got you got to compare him to the field, and I know that Arizona State, you know, they liked the idea of bringing Tom Herman in. Uh, I don't think he would have been able to do this, and so it is it working as far as raving raising Arizona State's overall level of talent. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, the thing that's going to be much more important is depth, because Arizona State did absolutely everything they could with the roster they had last year. And some of the stuff we're about to talk about shows how badly they gassed out yeah. um, at the end of the year. And even in that period of gassing out, they devised an entire game plan that was quarterback free uh, to, you know, to rid themselves of having to deal with Layatu Latu and they beat UCLA in California. So, you know, I, I think that you raise the level of talent with what this coaching staff is capable of. And I do think very, very highly of, of, of the majority of the coaches on, on this staff, a couple, it remains to be seen your Marcus Arroyo's your Heinz Ward, but we got to see the results. You can't just say they're good. Cause you like them, right? Right. I do like yeah. them. Um, but Sean Iguano proven Jason Mons known that guy forever. He's a genius. Um, Kenny Dillingham, you know, the guy said it. he loves ball. He's thinking about it all the time. The best way literally to does not stop. To he doesn't yeah. stop. They got a good, good offensive line coach. They have a very, very good defensive coordinator. Like this is a, this is a good staff and now they have good players. And I, I do think the model is going to be proven out. Everything's just relative to what your expectations are for this team. Yeah, absolutely. And you don't can't go into the season expecting a complete 180, complete turnaround. This team is is going to for sure be in a bowl game. But to me, you talked about other coaches at price points and in similar situations. I don't believe that there is another human being on this planet that could have walked into this job and has handled it the same way and built it the same way that Kenny Dillingham has. And that's not just all the things that you've already mentioned as far as assembling a staff and, and being a football junkie himself and also relating to players well. But it also comes down to just absolute love for the program and love for the state and belief in what you're doing and where you are because that makes a difference. It, it makes a massive difference and it's part of the reason why some of these guys are willing to come here in an era of college football that's full of bs that's full of lies that's full of fake promises and a whole lot of money being thrown out 
Kenny Dillingham is just as real as it gets. And at the end of the day, I think when time goes on and what you'll see from this season and next season and so on and so forth for as long as he's here, you will see consistent growth in that role and in that program. And that's going to lead to what we've just already seen. Like you said, ASU's talent level is a lot higher. Their floor is a lot higher than it was last season to where we're talking about these position battles And you're saying, okay, even if somebody does get injured, you do have somebody that you can step in and and relatively be confident and rely on. And this is coming from a school that's just now getting their NIL together, right? Like they were behind a school that was dealing with remnants of, of a coaching staff past that haunts this program, a bowl ban that haunted this program last year. And sure, maybe at the end of the day, they weren't competing for a bowl game, but that's still just a massive slash to like, morale right before a season starts when none of those people were involved in what you're getting punished for he's been dealt one of the worst hands that you could possibly imagine and he's still been able to get good out of it and to be able to grow and for that reason i can't say it's guaranteed and if we see something different obviously you talk about it then i do have full faith that by the end of this year we'll see improvement and after next and the year after that we're going to be talking about a completely different program